a secret setting has been added to Fortnite that will send your FPS to levels that you never thought was possible, guys. But are the downsides worth the benefits? Bunch of crunch, Sarmi, your motivation guys in the house. And today, we're gonna be going over the ups and downs of the new performance mode in Fortnite and telling you whether we think it's even worth using it in the first place. Okay, so the first obvious reason that you should be using the performance mode in Fortnite is, well, the amazing boost in performance that the mode actually gives you, like no matter what type of PC you're playing the game on. When you switch the mode on, you're gonna see a colossal increase in FPS and an equally absurd decrease in your input delay. So when it comes to playing Fortnite, obviously playing both quick and accurately is extremely important, right? And performance mode has been proven to help you with both. Many players on higher end PC rigs have seen a crazy FPS boost from around 180 FPS mid game to a stable 240 with the top of the line rigs going even further. Even though the mode is made for players with low end computers, it seems that even higher end computers have a lot to gain from turning it on. Okay, so on the subject of lower end PCs, players with these kinds of computer rigs have noticed that they have no more stutters and they can maintain a stable 120 FPS when they have it turned on. I mean, this is something that removes the lag and fights caused by a low end computer completely and could be, you know, night and day for those of you with a basic PC or a laptop. Now, I also mentioned a decrease in input delay. For those of you who might be wondering what input delay actually is, and this really is in the most basic of ways, like here, how am I gonna say it? It's a measure of how much delay there is from your peripherals to your game. That is to say, like, it's the gap between you pushing a button and then the action that button is mapped to happening in game. Like if you have a low ping and a high FPS, but still experience some choppy builds and you know you feel slow, then it's likely that you have a higher input delay. Performance mode also seems to help with the issue. Some players have actually reported a five to an eight millisecond difference from their original delay. I mean, that might not seem like a lot, but in the heat of a fast paced Fortnite build battle, you're definitely gonna notice the difference. Like this is something that's gonna help your aim with your actual skill guys, rather than, you know, how your game feels and it's just going to give you, and, and it's just going to give you a massive advantage over your opponents. So if you turn on performance mode and you're still getting destroyed by your opponents, then it might be time to head on over to ProGuys.com where we've got coaches that are waiting 24 seven to help you improve your Fortnite skills, no matter what your in-game settings are, all right? And uh, you know, motivation moment, you know, the, some of you guys, you know, have lower end computers or maybe you have, you know, horrible connections and high ping and, and we're talking about it today a little bit, but I still want you guys to maximize what you do have. Like if we keep complaining of all the things that we have wrong in our lives, you know, the lack of time to grind, the lack of money to buy new things, you know, our, our parents not supporting us or our work getting in the way or school getting in the way, then we're always going to stay at the same level. I want to encourage you guys to maximize the time you have, right? And just focus on what you do have. Don't make any excuses man be great with what you do have man and that will change your life all right so another major advantage to having performance mode turned on all right here we go it's actually the ability to see through the storm itself yes now obviously in games and your ability to fight in the storm is a skill you have to perfect in fortnite competitive right but when it comes to end games like the chances are that you're going to be stuck in the storm eating floppers or just trying to find a way out so you can just rotate with performance mode enabled, you're gonna have much better visibility and you're gonna actually make the zone seem almost transparent. Just make sure that you know where the zone is or your IGL might just tarp ahead. And I mean like way ahead if they can't tell the zone is. Okay, so in season five, Epic Games made a massive change to the way the storm looks. Basically, turning it into a bright pink mess that is incredibly annoying and difficult to look through. Turning on performance mode changes everything, guys. Like, you're gonna have no problem with visibility at all. It's almost like you've thrown on some storm vision goggles. So to get the best out of the storm vision that performance mode enables, there's also a colorblind setting that you need to turn on. If you change your colorblind setting to Triton Nope 10 with 50% brightness, then you're gonna be able to see through the storm even clearer than before. You can go even further than this if you have an NVIDIA graphics card by going to your NVIDIA control panel and changing your digital vibrance to 85%. But that could be a bit too far for the average player. All right, so before we go any further, all right, I gotta ask you guys a very simple question. 
have you guys actually used performance mode yet if you have like what do you guys think about you know the way the mode has changed the game let me know your comments down below your motivation guys really curious to hear so turning on performance mode is going to change the way your game looks a lot it basically looks like you're running around on the mobile version of fortnite only you're playing it on your pc but this could be quite an unexpected advantage you know, elements like grass and rocks and the ground have been cut back like dramatically with a new focus on simplicity so that, you know, the game can run as fast as possible. The unexpected advantage here, and I mean like right here, is that, you know, it actually makes it a lot easier to distinguish other players without all the additional visual noise. Without all of those, you know, fancy bits of swaying grass in the way, picking up a moving enemy is now easier than ever. The useful visual changes aren't just on the ground either, like they're based around the actual animations of your build. Building is much clearer and the animations seem to be just a whole lot cleaner. The visibility is also better in performance mode as well, like much like the storm, they're just so much easier to see through. Oh, and uh, you can actually see the builds under the floor, which may end up helping in certain situations if you need to edit certain things underground. Okay, so while we've gone over some pretty big advantages of using Fortnite's performance mode, not everything is all rainbows and sunshine, I will say that. There are some negative aspects to this as well. All right, the first of these is this. You guys ready for this? Obviously, okay, a major visual decrease in performance mode. For the most part, I mean, the visual decrease in the mode isn't really an issue as you know, we've already discussed, you know, some of them actually ending up helping you in game. But let's be a little honest here. The game looks even worse than mobile in some places. There are elements of the game that end up looking incredibly like pixelated, which just doesn't look great and can take a lot of effort to really get used to. It's not just a matter of just getting used to some choppy looking textures though, because these simplified visuals can actually be negative in certain situations. The clearest example of this is the item rendering in performance mode. Even if you have your view distance turned up to epic, you just can't see items from around 40 meters or further. The biggest impact this is gonna have is when you're dropping into a location, right? It's going to be really hard to prioritize where you should drop in an area where you simply can't see all the items it offers. Another thing that really gets affected by this lack of visual, you know, fidelity is other players. It can be very difficult for players who are on low performance mode to see enemies at a distance. And in some cases, from extreme distances, it might even just be impossible. There's a huge chance that someone could see you, but I mean, you're not gonna be able to see them. And then you're just wide open for them, you know, just to get eliminated by them. And at the end of the day, I mean, it looks like there are many more pros when it comes to using performance mode than, you know, when it comes to not using it. If you wanna be playing at the maximum possible quality and you don't mind things looking like you're playing on a mobile phone instead of your PC, then you should definitely switch over to it. But before you just jump into a game, just note down the secret information so you can at least make your experience even better in performance mode. First up is 3D resolution. This is the setting that decides on what resolution the game should be displayed on your screen. Lowering it is going to make your game run faster, but the lower down you go, the blurrier your game is going to get. So your best choice here is to honestly just keep the 3D resolution at 100%. Because if you don't, it's going to be even harder to see your enemies from a distance. And on the subject of view distance, you should keep that turned on all the way up to Epic as well. I mean, this setting is all about how far you can see as we've discussed in this video already i mean you can't really see very far with the performance mode turned on next up are the textures all right let's face it if you've already opted to turn on performance mode the chances are you really don't care about how your game looks anyway with that in mind all right you could just simply throw your textures down to low it's what most competitive players do and it'll allow you to squeeze out these you know last little drops of performance from your computer finally there's vsync this is one of the settings that you should have turned off from the moment you pick the game up essentially like vsync settings are something that allows the frame rate of your screen and the natural frame rate of your monitor to match up this avoids screen tearing or any other artifacts on screen Sounds good, right? Well, not so much. You know, this basically is another post-processing effect and, you know, it ends up forcing the game to do some extra rendering work. This all means that a whole load of new input delay will be added to the system. Also, it would mean that your game is gonna be capped to the refresh rate of your monitor, which isn't what you want if you're trying to get the max FPS possible. All right, guys, to recap, there are more pros than cons when it comes to playing with performance mode. Performance mode will help you transfer your skills from creative to in-game much more easily, and it'll help you become the best of the best. And speaking of becoming the best of the best, guys, you can always check out the rest of our channel for more tips and tricks, and check out ProGuys.com, where our coaches can work with you one-on-one -on -one to help you get to the next level. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Once again, I'm your motivation guy, Bunch of Crunch Army. If you guys like the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. 
We got so much more great content coming out, and I'll see you soon. Connect with me on my Instagram at Your Motivation Guy. Keep grinding. Thank you